Hello my dear students, I am your educator Burhanuddin. Today's video lecture is very important because this video lecture is all about rapid revision of chemical properties of acids and bases of chapter 2 acid base and salt of class 10. So watch the video till the end because at the end of the video I will give you one instruction which will be very helpful to you to understand this topic. These are the list of topic which I had covered in my previous video lecture in detail with the help of respective activities. So to learn chemical properties in detail click the bell icon or the links of this video lectures are also given in description box. Kindly check it to learn in detail. In our textbook this topic is given very vast but for the ease to understand this topic for the examination or to do rapid revision I had made this video lecture. So let's start cramming of chemical properties of acids and bases. So let's first talk about how indicator changes with acids and bases by the help of topic acids and base in laboratory. So acid converts blue litmus paper to red and methyl orange to red and there will be no change in the color of the phenolphthalein and base converts red litmus paper to blue, phenolphthalein to pink color and methyl orange to yellow. And if we talk about our another indicator that is olfactory indicators, then all olfactory indicators do not lose their smell in acidic medium and all olfactory indicators lose their smell in basic medium. Now let's see how acids and base react with metals. So first we will see reaction of metal with acid. So if acid will react with metal as a product salt and hydrogen gas is produced. So let's take an example that if hydrochloric acid and zinc will react then zinc chloride which is salt and H2 which is hydrogen gas is formed. Let's see what happen if metal will react with base. So base plus metal will also produce salt and hydrogen gas. For example, sodium hydroxide will react with zinc then it will produce sodium zincate that is Na2ZNO2 and hydrogen gas that is H2. Now let's see how metal carbonate and metal hydrogen carbonates react with acid. So if metal carbonate will react with acid it will form salt plus carbon dioxide gas plus water. Let's take an example. If sodium carbonate will react with hydrochloric acid then it will form NaCl which is salt and H2O which is water and CO2 that is carbon dioxide gas. And if metal hydrogen carbonate will react with acid it will also form salt plus carbon dioxide gas plus water. For example sodium hydrogen carbonate will react with hydrochloric acid it will form NaCl which is salt H2O which is water and CO2 which is carbon dioxide gas. Now let's see how acids and base react with each other. So if acid will react with base it will form salt and water which is also known as neutralization reaction. For example sodium hydroxide that is NaOH will react with hydrochloric acid that is SCl then as a product NaCl is formed which is salt and H2O which is water is formed. Now let's see what happen when a metallic oxide will react with acid. So metal oxide plus acid will form salt and water same as neutralization reaction. Let's take an example. If copper oxide will react with hydrochloric acid then it will form copper chloride and water and copper chloride is salt. Now let's see what happen if non-metallic oxide will react with base. So base plus non-metal oxide will also form salt and water which is same as neutralization reaction. Let's take an example. Calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide which is non-metal oxide will produce calcium carbonate which is salt and H2O which is water. So these are the important reaction which we should remember in chemical properties of acids and bases. 
and as I told in the beginning of the video that I will give you one important instruction so that is I had made the notes of these chemical properties and the blogger website is given in the description box so click on the link go to blogger site and download from there because these notes will be very helpful to learn or to cram before your exam the chemical properties of acids and bases and this will be very helpful to solve MCQ and some other important questions. The topic which will be covered in next video lecture is rapid revision of 2.2 what do all acids and all bases have in common. That's all for today's video lecture. Thank you. And another important instruction is that if you are not subscribed to our channel then subscribe it to get latest notification and updates. For that, you have to, for that you have to click the bell icon which will give you latest notification and updates of our channel. Thank you.